with the review for The Walking Dead, and it's because I was in New Orleans for the Halloween weekend, and it was insane. But um, today, during work, I watched The Walking Dead. I watched it when it aired. <laughs> she had the luxury to do that. I was working, <laughs> so I couldn't. You were partying. I was DJing, so I was still working. I'm just kidding. It's just, oh, dear God. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, okay, so this episode of The Walking Dead is called The Well, and it was, it started off hilarious. I was kind of confused, not going to lie, when it started off. I was confused, too. Like, I thought Carol was having the dream, because the way things were, like how it started off, and then... You know, it got to the kingdom, and we met Ezekiel, King, King, Ezekiel. He was really freaking cool. He was awesome. I, yeah. Those dreads, though. Right? I'm jealous. And his tiger. I uh, want a pet tiger. Shiva. It's really, really cool. <laughs> it was really cool. Like, there's not much we didn't like about this episode. Um... But especially, I'm sorry, when when she was first brought, brought in by Marcus to to the uh, to to hit to Ezekiel to where he was in his yeah. throne in a community theater, which is fantastic, especially mm-hmm. for like later on in the episode when you you figure out why. Um, why it's in there. Well, at least I think I figured out why it wasn't a community theater. I thought it was funny because since he was a community theater actor before the entire thing happened. Also, he did, uh, was a part of, he was a part of the zoo as well. Yeah, yeah. He worked for like a zoo or something. It was a zookeeper or something yeah. like that. So. And so where else could you be? Like, where, where else would your throne be than be on the stage? Like, that was really cool. Um, but no, walking in and Carol's face was the most that amazing. That was priceless. <laughs> like, I think it was my favorite part of the whole show. God, that was so good. She just, <laughs> she's just getting pulled in there. And then <laughs> she's like, I would be speechless if I wasn't already speaking. Or like, when she was, <laughs> would she say something like, I don't know what the hell's going on in the most wonderful Wait, way? Yeah. I was like, yes. <laughs> So she's like oh. so fake and it's so funny <laughs> and it's like this is why I love Carol oh and what about what kind of bread was it again um that, that, that bread like when she was talking to the guy uh, that was doing clothes I'm like yeah we have this bread every night I can't remember what kind of bread it oh, was oh cobbler or, yeah cobbler it was cobbler yeah and she's like I love cobbler you mean we have every night <laughs> and then she's just like I, I can't and she just like breaks down <laughs> <laughs> and it stills the clothes. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. Oh my god. She that made that made me happy. But I will definitely say the part of the episode that got like the feels really going on was when Carol and Ezekiel had the conversation um and he like just became just real with her and he was like, well, it was easy to put, figure out that she really wasn't impressed. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. Is that yeah. what he said? And, like, he got real deep with her. Like, it was... That was yeah. very good. I just... And it's crazy how they're kind of, like, similar people, in very, a sense. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I really like that. Uh, and in The Talking Dead, people, like, mentioned maybe, like, a love interest between the two. So what do you think about that? Um... I don't know. That would be very interesting. I still want Carol and Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not over that yet. <laughs> you can't even ship them with the same, the same, the same name because it rhymes already. I know. So it's like it works. <laughs> Daryl could care care. To, I don't. I'm not even gonna try. But call him CD. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can't 
like combine their names. They're too similar, so they'd be C. <clears throat> yeah, you got a point there. That's true. Oh, God. Um, the other thing I thought was really, really cool was the guys... Um, okay, so we got to see Negan's guys again. Of course, Negan mm-hmm. was not in this episode, but we got to see Negan's guys again in this episode. And I liked what Ezekiel and his men were doing by feeding the pigs they're offering to Negan yeah. um, with walkers to infect them, to make sure, like, to try to get them sick or kill them with their offerings, which yeah. I thought was very, very genius. And it, I guess it just depends on um, how much infected food they already eat. Or how it affect them because like, it I don't know what would happen, but I thought that was a nice idea um, as well. It also shows that they're not dummies either. Like they definitely know what they're doing. So maybe the kingdom will actually last. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. There's a big maybe. maybe there. That, that's because a huge maybe. Once because... Negan starts feeling, figuring some things out, which we know that's true. eventually he will. Because he's smart too. Yeah. We have two very like smart leaders. So. And, one, and they're complete polar opposites of each other. They are. Like you have the one that gives the fear to people to control them, and then you have the one that gives people hope to help them, and that gives them to follow him as an actual leader. So you have those two there, even though he's pretending, he's still he's still acting as yeah. a good leader. I mean, he, he still cares doing. though. Like exactly. Even if you were to drop the act. The act. He's still a very caring person. So. Which we got with that conversation between him and Carol. Right. Um, and it was, it was definitely interesting. And by the way, I don't know if you guys noticed, I can't think of who did the song, but the people, uh, the acapella group that was singing, yeah. they, I can't think of the name of the song. And I know, I know the words, I can't think of the name of the song, but the song, if you listen to it, it talks about Carol's journey. Like it's about, it's about Carol's journey. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Like you, I have to go back and rewatch it. it. Yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting, hmm. and God, I can't think of the name of the song. It's gonna bug the hell out of me. I'm gonna figure it out, and I'm gonna put it in the captions so that you guys can see and like listen to the song, and then you'll see what I'm talking about when you hear the lyrics. Um, but besides that, overall, this was a fantastic episode. It was. I, you know, another really cool thing and that I saw in the episode that one zombie where like his face got like cut in half. I was <laughs> like, holy crap! <laughs> like this is. Low key, kind of cool, but kind of gross. <laughs> like, oh my god! I just had to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> that zombie just really stood out to me. <laughs> oh, that's so good. All right, well, I mean, I came for the next episode. The next episode deals with mm-hmm. Daryl, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, yeah. And to see what happens because it's gonna be Daryl, and I believe Megan's gonna be in the episode, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be crazy. So we we get. Um, a very hard opening to the season. We get a calm, nice, comedic, and very nice um, blend of comedy and mm-hmm. passion, and, and and just. It was a great episode to follow the first episode. Yeah, so. and then now we're about to get back into the dirty with Daryl. I don't know if I'm ready. I'm still not over episode one. So. <laughs> <laughs> like. I feel like it's gonna hit me hard again with episode three, and I see Daryl and like you know probably the the whole group, and Glenn and Abraham aren't gonna be there. Nope. And I'm just not ready for that. Nope. <laughs> so. Oh, man. Well, anyway, that's our review on the episode. If you've not seen the episode yet, uh, watch it. I don't know why you watch this review and not watch the episode because we basically just gave. A lot of spoilers and yeah. yeah. And you've <laughs> so, had plenty of time to watch this the episode already, so yeah. you're slacking if you haven't seen it yet. Big time. <laughs> anyway, I'm Steven. I'm Shelby. And we will see you guys next week. Right, bye. <laughs>